A students, welcome to our one point perspective art tutorial. So what are our goals? With a ruler, students will be able to draw a straight line connected to a vanishing point. You're also going to be able to identify which lines should meet with vanishing point because not all corners of our shapes will go to the vanishing point. So before we get started, there's some materials you're going to need. Please make sure that you have your worksheet that we gave you before you left school, a pencil with an eraser, a ruler, and most importantly, make sure you have lots of patience. You can totally do this. Let's do a little key term review before we get started. So that imaginary line where the sky and the earth meet is called the horizon line. You also need to know what the vanishing point is, which is that little spot in the distance where all lines from our shape are going to meet. Now, only some of those lines are going to go to the vanishing point, as you can see in this tutorial, and we're going to talk more about that in this following demonstration. Please make sure you're ready to get started. So with our ruler, we're going to make sure that we make a straight line across our paper, and this is going to be our horizon line for this tutorial. Try to make it as straight as you can. I'm using my ruler and connecting it to the line I made previously, so I'm getting about even. Now, our vanishing point, we're going to make a little X in the middle of the paper so we know where it's at. And for this tutorial, we're going to pretend we're making a street. So I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and draw a line. It doesn't really matter where you put it. If you go down further, you don't have as much room for buildings. If you go up a little higher, like how I am right now, you've got more room to draw. So I'm going to make sure I'm all lined up right on my vanishing point. And I'm going to go ahead and make a line to the edge of my paper. And I'm going to repeat this on the other side as well. Okay, so now that we have these lines, these are going to act as like streets for us, where our buildings are going to live. So the first thing I want to do, because I don't want to get confused about where my lines are going, is I'm going to make a shape, probably a rectangle, right on the edge of one of my street lines. So I'm going to get my ruler, if I can pick it up. And I'm going to very carefully make sure that the top of my ruler is lined up with my paper. And I'm just going to draw a line straight down. So I'm just making a rectangle. And I'm going to make it go just to the corner of my paper. So I'm making a perfectly horizontal line on top. And I'm also going to find that corner where I'm on the street. And I'm going to make one more shape so we have a nice rectangle right here. Now, my top line and my bottom line and my side are all perfectly vertical and horizontal. I have no diagonal lines. We're going to erase as we go so we don't get confused with our uh, horizon line here in the background. Just really carefully erase so you're not confused. If you need to pause this, that's fine. All right, so I need to make sure this top corner goes to my vanishing point. My bottom one already does. This is going to be the bottom of my building, so I don't need to worry about this. This line, though, needs to go to the vanishing point so I can make the other side of my building. So I'm going to really carefully make sure that my vanishing point is just floating on the top of my ruler just like this. And once I'm sure my points are all lined up, I'm going to go ahead and just draw not a whole line, just a little line. Now, since my bottom line's already done, all I have to do is make one more nice straight vertical line. And I'm going to connect that down to the bottom of my building. So that street line is now acting as the bottom of my building. And there we go. So that's done. I'm going to color code things for you guys. Any of these lines that are going towards the vanishing point are going to make yellow. The ones that aren't, we're going to make blue just so we don't lose track of things. And I'm going to go ahead and erase right here. Go ahead and follow along and do that. Okay. So if I want to add, let's say, windows onto this part of my building, I don't need to make sure any of my lines are going to the vanishing point because I have a perfectly vertical line and a perfectly horizontal line. So I'm just going to do something really easy. It's not going to be fancy, just so you guys get the idea of this. I'm going to draw two horizontal lines since I have a horizontal line on top and one on bottom. And then I'm going to do two vertical lines on the sides. Boom. Done. All right. On the other building, however, because on the other side of my building, I have lines on the top and the bottom going to the vanishing point, I know that I'm going to have lines for my other parts of my building that will also go into the vanishing point. So I'm going to go ahead, draw a line on the top, and one on the bottom that are both lined up with my vanishing point because my top and bottom lines are also going to the vanishing point. So I'm going to go ahead and color code this so you guys don't lose track. 
If you need to pause any point, that's fine. Let's remember to keep erasing lines with a vanishing point. Another important thing we need is a door because how else are we going to get into our buildings, guys? So we're going to go ahead and we're going to draw a line straight down from the edges that we made from our top line to the top of our door. And there we go. It's all done. So I'm just going to go ahead and color code this for you guys. Again, our vertical lines are not going to the vanishing point. Only thing that's going to the vanishing point is the bottom of our door as well as the top. And there we go. Don't forget to add a handle on your door. Otherwise, how are you going to get in and out? All right, so the second building we're going to do, I'm going to make it look like it's behind our first building. So I'm going to go ahead and instead of starting right next to my building, I'm going to go ahead and draw my top line for my shape right behind my building. So I'm pretending that there is a rectangle hanging out behind my building. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to connect that line to the vanishing point just so you guys can see what this is going to look like. And then we're going to draw our vertical line straight down all the way down to where our street's at. And that was super fast, right? So let's go ahead and let's color code this. So again, remember, those lines not going to the vanishing point. So this whole front of the building, not going to the vanishing point. Only that is are those top lines where the street is at and where the top of my building is at. And here we go. That whole we'll call it a plane is going towards the vanishing point. Let's go ahead and let's erase our horizon line so we can get confused. And the next building on this side, I'm going to let you guys try to do it on your own. You did it. Nice job, you guys. So remember, this is just a practice. Tomorrow when we have class, we're going to be adding more details. And honestly, guys, before you know it, you're going to be creating full cities. So if you need to go back and watch anything again, feel free to. Otherwise, make sure your worksheet has your name on it. I can't wait to see your work. Bye, guys.